Hey, what's going on guys? It's Mark back in the workshop on Mark's Aquatics. Right, we've got a little giveaway on today's video. Jackson's looking beautiful this morning. How are you doing? Good morning. He's got some beautiful coloration. He's really stabled up now. His coloration is really stable. And as you can see, he is in beautiful condition. Right, let's get across to the bench. Boo, he enjoyed that. Let's get over to the bench and see what we've got to give away. Now this is going to be a giveaway and a bit of a rant video, so uh, bear with me. And because um, I'm sure you guys agree with some of what, with what some you know some of the things that I'm going to say, you'll probably agree with me as well. So just watch till the end and see what you think as well. Okay. Right. Okay, guys, we've got some lovely prizes here up on the workbench for you. Are all going to be given away when we reach 20. 5k that's the uh, the target we're looking for so when we reach that we're going to be giving all this stuff away now Richard's kindly sent me some biohome ultimate with little cultures in little bacteria ball cultures there little gel balls to start off in your in your filters to colonize this media with bacteria we've got three of those to give away we've also got two bags of the K1 Micro, also with colonization bacteria balls in as well. And we've got one, two, three, four, five bags of Indian almond leaves, which have got about, I would say nearly 30 in each bag. So that's quite a lot in there. It's going to last you a long time. And a little bag of Biohome gravel, which you can wash out under the tap, clean that dust off, put it into your canister filter or into your hang on the back filter and that is going to colonize lovely and really aid in your filtration and, and making that water quality spot on. Um, the JBL stuff, we've got some lovely scissors there, high quality stainless steel scissors. We've got the substrate rake as well with a fine end and a wide end for raking that substrate around if you're into your aquascaping and a nice set of long tongs as well. So you could be planting those plants nice in their substrate keeping them away, very similar to the ones that I've got here, which they sent me a while ago, but those ones are slightly wider and they've got a nicer grip on there as well. So they're a nice little addition there. These are all the boxes that they came in. I just put them in there so you can um, so you can see them. And obviously the holster as well, which has got all the different slots to put in all your different tools as I throw them around. And um, you can put all sorts in there. You're, I'm just going to leave that there, all right? <laughs> anyway, you've got a basket down there, a little thing you can put things in as well. There's another pocket in there, strap to go around your waist, and a flip over lid, which comes over the top as well. Really nice little bit of kit. Nice little bit of money's worth there. Someone lucky going to win that. Now, that's going to be one prize, okay, for these and the bag. And I'm going to do individual prizes on all the Indian almond leaves, the media, all the way through. So we'll do an individual prize on each one. Pick a different winner so we can share it out a little bit. And um, and so more of you guys can get some stuff. Just a little thank you from me and obviously from all the other guys as well, you know, for watching, supporting our channels and um, and following us. It's been, uh, it's been really good. Like I said, we're at 22,000 now. We're going to be soon going to be hitting 25, I'm sure. And when we do, this is when I will do the draw and we'll pick out a load of a load of winners now it's an international competition so it's worldwide so i'll send all this stuff out to you no matter where you are okay so and all you got to do is leave a comment in the comment section below it can be whatever you like and uh, if you're feeling generous you can always subscribe to my channel which would be amazing so i'd love to have you join the channel with all the other fantastic guys that are on it already get some great feedback off you guys and love chatting to you online as well also guys don't forget to pay richard at pond guru a nice little uh, pay him a visit and um show him some love on his channel as well he's a fantastic guy he's really helped my channel out from the start and i can't thank you enough mate i really can't I really do appreciate that and it's like i said we're all trying to give back to you guys out there I see so many channels out there that are just after your money, after this and after that. And I don't see many of the channels now, even the bigger channels,
giving something back to you as as watchers because without you their channels would be absolutely nothing at all and um, they seem to be trying to rake it in as much as they can for them and not the other way around and that's the way my channel Richard's channel and various other channels come in and uh, we're trying to give back to you guys instead of take from you so hopefully we'll let 3,000 well, well we've got that we got 3,000 to go <laughs> to uh, to get to 25 and then we'll be doing the draw and then giving this out to you guys as well what I'll do is also guys is I'll link all this stuff up the JBL stuff all the tongs the paddle the, uh, the, the the scissors the bag and all Richard's media I'll link that up in the comment section below so if you do want to go and buy some before the draw if you just want some awesome filter media or some aquascaping tools I'll link all the Amazon links below so you can go and buy yourself some okay it's not expensive and you get an amazing filter media which is going to last you for many years and keep your fish very very and your shrimp very very healthy as well and like I said pop across to see his pimp your filter series videos because like I said you may have done your video already on your filter or he will do in the future I'm very sure yes I don't think smaller channels like ours they're never going to be big because it's it just seems to be the trend of the world today the way it's going um, and, I, and I can't understand it I say I've been in this hobby for many many years and always looked and loved the creatures I've looked after but it just seems to be this massive hype now on getting things and, and 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 just I just see so much cruelty going on and it's um and you can stop it you know you could you guys are the ones that are watching it and instead of just watching what someone's just bought like a three or four thousand pound arowana and stuck it in a six foot tank when you know it's it's not going to have a nice life it's got nothing to interact with apart from maybe a lamp in there bare bottom tank one air stone and it's that's it for, the, for, the, for its entire life. Now to me, that ain't hobby keeping. That's not keeping fish for me at all. That is that is just cruelty. That's just like animal torture to me, the way I see it. And all this rubbish, just, just for views, because it's just not setting that right example for the kids that are growing up watching this today. They're emulating that, copying it, and they're just, they're just ruining lots and lots of little creatures' lives in the process. And I don't know how this how this is going it seems to be getting crazier and crazier the world of aquatics I see so much cruelty on them um, on the channel on these different channels and it's these big channels as well and it's it's a, it's a really sad way the way the way it's going I saw one the other day with this lobster that these guys bought and oh, it was just awful it was it was a really old probably 50 to 60 year old lobster and it had been ordered through a food company and they were going to keep it in a tank they had a tank for it laughing and joking all this oh my god oh my god every five minutes yes it's a lobster yes it's dying and for god's sake either cook the thing put it out of its misery and these people just torment these animals they really do and it's so sad to see it it really is it breaks my heart to see these poor little creatures going through so much pain and stress and um, just for gains for views and the whole community seems to be going towards this kind of this trend towards cruelty towards these animals and fish people buying fish and putting them in stupid sized tanks and um, and just keeping things in awful conditions just for the views and then they die they get ill next minute they're saying it's died they want sympathy videos going out but it, they, no, no one seems to really care about this hobby anymore. Not these big channels, like I said, it's just going over the top. And these people should be done for cruelty to animals. They really should. Some of the things that they get up to with these animals. I mean, those guys with the lobster, he had a, a tank full of fresh water. It's a, sea, it's a sea lobster. And he sprinkled a little bit of salt into it. And he said, oh yeah, look, now it's salt water. And then the next video, they were cooking it in a restaurant. And I mean, it was, I don't know. I mean, we know people eat things, but don't torment something. If you're going to dispatch something, do it quickly, cleanly, and eat it. Don't torment and prolong its its agony. 
they were holding it up by its claws. Oh, it was sad. I'm not going to talk about it anymore because it really does upset me. It really does. There is so many smaller channels out there on the internet at the moment who are genuine hobbyists like myself that just want to keep things, do a nice little aquascape, follow their channels. Don't follow the herd, don't be sheeple and just follow all these other people because someone's throwing a mouse in a piranha tank and all this rubbish, creating hell for these poor little creatures just for the money and the views because it's sickening, it really is. And there should be some kind of law, like I said, about it. And these people should be struck off of the internet or given warnings or something and told to clean their act up because they're dealing with little creatures' lives. And it's awful, it really is. This is how shrimp should be kept. As you can see, they're healthy, colourful, happy, and they just exist in what they were put on the earth to do cleaning up the place and enjoying themselves. Well guys, there's some amazing prizes there to be given away. Like I said, we'll do an individual giveaway and all the media and the leaves and that JBL toolkit with the, uh, the substrate rake, the tongs and the scissors and the bag is going to be one, one prize, okay? Where have you gone, my little friend? Here you are. Looking very nice today. I know you're waiting for your breakfast. Let's have a look at you from up here. Look at that, beautiful coloration in him now. Stabilized, lovely. <laughs> a handsome boy you are. Anyway, I've ranted and raved on for enough now. Sorry to throw all that at you, but it really does infuriate me when I see these channels and these people um, with millions and millions of views. They're raking the money in. And then there's all their merch and there's all their other stuff. Go and buy my Cruelty to Animals t-shirt. That's what they should be printing. And um, so me saying to them, they want to clean their act up and, um, and start enjoying the hobby for the hobby. Maybe do it for what they first started doing it for, you know, and that was for the enjoyment of one little tank and just enjoying it and enjoying those little creatures that you've got in your care. Because it's in a tank, you're looking after it. Their life is completely in your hands. The water quality, the feed, Everything is entirely up to you. They can't get out that little box full of water. That's their prison in an, in an effect. So you've got to look after them, make sure they're okay, and give them exactly what they need to keep them healthy, because they can't find it themselves otherwise. Anyway, guys, as always, you're all stars. Thanks for tuning in. Sorry for ranting, but it does get to me. And as always, take care, and I'll see you on the next episode of Mark's Aquatics. Boy for now. Just me and my guitar.